I was 20 years old. This was my last chance in netball, and I wasted it. Since I can remember, I've struggled internally, feeling out of place or not quite happy. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, but I've always felt that way. Back in primary school, I struggled to connect with other kids. Um, and as I got older, I learned to fit in, but it was always there. I developed unhealthy relationships with food and also with alcohol as I got older, especially my last year of school. Um, I was deputy head girl of St. Cuth's, so uh, on the outside, everything looked good, but on the inside, I was, the mental battle was getting worse and worse. From there, it just spiralled out of control for me. When I left school, everything happened really quickly. And at the end of that year, I was called up to the national side uh, for the Silver Friends. Um, and I think at that young age, I wasn't quite able to understand how much of a blessing it was. I was struggling uh, with the alcohol, with my weight. And within a year, I was dropped. The mask started peeling off and um, I wasn't able to hide uh, what was going on inside. And I got given the opportunity to play for another team in Dunedin. So I took that opportunity. My family supported me to go there. And then that's when I found out I was three months pregnant. At that time, I was the captain of the under-21 uh, national side. And I chose to, to give that all up. In the island culture, uh, you don't have children until you're married. Um, so that was a massive struggle for me to tell my parents. Uh, and then to then go to the scan with my mum and find out they were twins. Uh, a very hard time for me, um, especially with it not being planned. Pregnancy was definitely a struggle, just not knowing what I was without netball. I just didn't understand how life had changed so quickly. I um, mean, I knew these were my babies, but I didn't feel like a mum. It took me a long time to uh, feel that uh, maternal connection with them. I think I, the first few months, to be honest, were, were a struggle. Having two babies depending on you, but knowing you can't even depend on yourself. I'd wake up, start crying, feed the babies, put them to sleep, start crying. Um, and I think now, being older, I understand what that is and that I did struggle with postnatal depression, but I think when you're living through it, you're not aware of what's going on. I found a way to self-sabotage and I started, I found alcohol again. A few years ago, I was uh, in a church service. By then, I was 25, and I thought, surely um, like, enough's enough um, of just going up and down and, and just constantly in that battle with myself. I made a choice and a, a, a deal with God. Um, and I said, please, 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 please uh, help me, because I can't, uh, like I'm done. Um, just fighting for myself in my head. And so I made the choice to get baptised. Um, and that was massive for me, I think, just making that choice. Um, and within a month of that, um, I decided to go to Samoa with my family um, and receive a malu. So in our Samoan culture, the malu is a coming of age for women, taking on responsibility, in the family, to serve, to protect the family and their children, and to be a woman of respect. So I decided to give up alcohol properly and to connect with good friends and surround myself with good people, and to, to take my blessing of my career in the professional netball seriously and make the most of it, because 
I do know that I've been blessed with this arena um, to, to make a difference. My focus now is to do what I can to help people, and whether that's in netball, to help the younger ones coming through, in studies, to graduate, to get into social work. I think that's been a massive thing that's on my heart, to get into the community and do what I can to help youth, um, to help Pacific people, just to, to be the best mum I can, and just love them, and through whatever they're gonna go through, support them and be a a good partner in person.